the Lord says, Let me reveal to you who will enter heaven and who won't. Trumpet call of God. January 2, 2005 From the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God, Let the truth be known regarding the innocent, my most precious gifts to this world, the beloved little ones. When one of these little ones pass from your sight, grieve not, for they have returned home. Grieve instead for yourselves, for a precious gemstone has been taken, the twinkle in your eye has faded. Behold a treasure which has no equal in all the earth has been hidden. A pure light has gone out before its time, causing the whole world to become a little poorer in joy, a little darker in this night. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to all children, and these who have come forth from the kingdom who remain without blemish, whose lives were cut short, return to him from whom they came. For these little ones need not sleep in death, for the penalty of sin is death. I have found no sin upon them. And oh, how blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall surely behold my face. Therefore, thus says the Lord to all those who have harmed or caused one of these little ones to sin, It would have been better for you if you would have never been born, for you shall indeed wear the millstone about your neck and be cast into the depth. For you have endeavored to rip my little ones from the kingdom of the Most High, and have torn their flesh. You have mistreated and abused them. You have murdered my gifts. And in so doing, have you, by your own hand, ripped yourselves from the kingdom of heaven. Behold, you are cast out. You shall be thrown into the pit where your bones shall be broken, your flesh torn and eaten, you shall be consumed. Unless you repent for all you have done to the little ones and repay tenfold by way of your deeds. All upon the earth who have gained maturity have become so very poor and desolate for once you were wealthy, rich beyond words, for then you knew the kingdom of heaven as a child. Yet now you are fully grown, your light quickly fading, as the ways of the world cover you, and slumber pulls you ever deeper into darkness. Therefore awaken, all you sleepers, be roused out of this sleep, and awake. Embrace the light of my coming and reclaim your inheritance and return to me. Hear me calling and oh how happy are those who find their way back to me, reclaiming that which they had forsaken, seeking him from whom they had departed. For once you were lost, yet now you are found. Yet I tell you the truth, no man full of manly ways may enter the kingdom of heaven. O oh, you men, so great in stature, how will you pass? Hurry, bring yourself slow, so you may enter. Wait not until the time when all are brought low, for the time has come. For my blessings are upon the humble, 
and my salvation is with those who willingly kneel, lie down and press their faces in the dust before their God. They shall be exalted. Yet those who stand defiant before the Lord, who hold fast in their rebellion, shall surely be abased. They shall be brought very low, and they too shall kneel and lie down, with their faces in the dust. And to the dust shall they return, says the Lord.